Hi, this is Dr. Vinod Felix and this is a case of mucomycosis involving both thergopalatin fossa and the right maxillary sinus, right inferior orbit. And uh, we are going to do an orbital clearance on right side. We are going to do a, remove all the necrotic bone on both sides. This patient already under the left orbital excentration a couple of months back. And this is a right side dengue's approach. And you are seeing that intraorbital nerve is completely involved and the pus in fact the fungal pus tracked to the anterior aspect of maxilla. We removed the pus and now we have done the dengue's approach. We are removing the intraorbital nerve and we are tra following the fungus into the orbit. That's the right maxillary sinus, that's the intraorbital nerve and fungus being removed. We have entered the right orbit, that's the inferior aspect of orbit. We are seeing healthy orbital fat and the muscles there. That's the roof of maxillary sinus. And now that's the pterygopalatin force of right side. We are removing the fungus from the pterygopalatin fossa and we are seeing the pterygoid bone, that's a pterygoid base. And this is the trick which I want to mention, we just you get hold of the necrotic bone and remove it. In fact, you, you now got the entire pterygoid process with the greater wing of spinot on the right side. Just hold the necrotic bone, twist it, get it out. It just comes off like that. And that's now say left side, there's a left side anterior clinoid process and the optic canal being removed. You are seeing the optic canal there in the anterior clinoid process. So gently you manipulate the necrotic bone, turn it around, free it, remove it. And we removed that pterygoid process also on the left side. Now that's a left palatine bone. Again, get hold of that, twist it, twist it, twist it. And it usually comes off. We are delivering it to the left orbit, or orbital cavity. That's the left uh, orbital excentration cavity. Now we are, we are seeing that we have removed all the necrotic bone. That's a spinoid sinus. There is no necrotic bone left out. There's a tooth on the left side with no alveolar process. We'll be removing the tooth and doing the closure from the oral side. Just a couple of stitches will do that. That's the left uh, Peter's bone. And the left temporal fossa dura is clearly seen after removal of the degraded wing of spinoid. Thanks for watching.